Hello everybody, welcome back to another Occitan video. I am Sapio and today we will be going over the first conjugation group or the AR ending group. This is this will form a three part series on how to conjugate Languedocian variants of Occitan. Starting with the AR group or the first conjugation group in the present tense, if we take the verb aima for instance, we get the following conjugation pattern. Yo aimi, tu aimas, el aima, nos aimam, vos aimats, e el zaiman. In theory, to achieve near perfect conjugations, you must take into account the radical and the suffix of the verb relating to the group it belongs to. For those not versed so much in grammar talk, the radical is the aim part of aima. The suffix is the AR part, and finally the AR group is the first group as previously stated. There are, in Occitan, typically three groups of conjugations. So the entirety of the first conjugation group is as follows except for a few less important conjugations that I omitted. In the present tense you have e, as, a, am, at, and an for endings. In the imperfect tense, or a form of past tense, it is abi, abaz, abba, abem, abets, e aban. For the simple future tense, you have are, araz, ara, arem, areits, aran. Now, technically, there is a combined form of future tense conjugation. For the short term, you could say Je vo travaya a la bordo, tu vas travaya a la bordo, and etc. For more distant future tense, you could say Je anirai, anarai travaya, tu anaras travaya, el anara travaya and etc. Conditional tense, in other words, the form that equates to the following example of I would, I would, like to, magradaria, magradaria, uh, the pattern goes as follows. Arie, arias, aria, ariam, ariat, e arian. And also, let me preface by saying that this means essentially, for instance, I would like to do a thing. And like, it's the conditional form. It's like, you know, if ever you've uh, studied French or something like uh, Spanish, there's a similar form to this. It's about the same concept. It's, it's a conjugational ending form. To, instead of making it out into several words, like in English, you make it out into just an ending at the end of the verb and that allows you to perform to to say to express something in a much in a technically shorter way because the ending holds information much more in a much more compact way than if you were to have multiple words like in English to to basically say the same thing in shorter little words but now instead you have a longer word but that holds more technical information as to what the person is saying. With that mouthful out the way, participle present and past tense are as follow. For the first group, you would have, for instance, A and T, and the same thing for the first group would be uh, to have AT, ATS for plural, AT and uh, AD, ADA. <laughs> ADA and ADAS, respectively for its plural and singular forms. An important thing for me to say is that in Lenga Dusian Occitan, the participle present is not employed on the ongoing or active present tense, meaning, for instance, we say in English doing, saying, wanting. Yes, in Occitan, logically, that would be fazen. Dizen, voulen. However, 
in a sentence where you say, I am doing my work, it would be as follows. Yosui atrabaya. Not, uh, it would not be uh, Yosui trabayan. That would be incorrect. There is also a combined form of past tense. In the following example, you could say Lomi a Aimat Trabaya Sus Labordo. In English, that would be the man had enjoyed working on the farm. Now, of course, in English, you would probably employ a different form than this, but it's to compare basically the something that's that would be a bit more similar to English because that's that's kind of how you say it that's pretty much how you say it in in Occitan it's a if if you're going to employ that kind of combined form it, which exists but there's also other conjugations that you can employ to uh, perform the, the same expression those are all of the important need to know conjugations in Lenga do Siam. With that being said, my friend has an Occitan Discord server where, for those interested in the language, conversations entirely in Occitan can be had at Nostra País Discord. Link is in the description, of course. If you like this video, then leave a like for more Occitan content. I have been Sapio, I bid you all farewell. Aleo!